Hi everybody, it's Miss Carrie here from Artisan Schools. Good to see you guys and thank you so much for joining me on the locker today. Now before we get started, I just wanted to take a second to congratulate all of the junior high students that I've had who are graduating this year who I won't be seeing. I do hope to see you guys around and I wish you good luck and I'm so proud of you guys. Work hard and enjoy this next step of your future. It's gonna be fantastic. Now for the rest of you, I cannot wait to get back in the classroom. And one of those reasons is because I miss looking at all of your artwork. So please save your art, whether it's with me or another artist or something that you're doing online with your teachers. And a lot of you, and you know who you are, like to draw in your own little books on your free time. Now my favorite thing to do is when we're walking around looking at each other's art, you guys pull out of your backpacks, your special drawing pads or your little art portfolios and you show me your drawings. A lot of you do anime art, which is brilliant. I actually personally am not that great at anime art. So it's really fun to see all of you guys, you inspire me. Now it's really fun to also see a lot of your paintings and your drawings and your doodles and your sketches. It literally makes my art heart happy. And I want you guys to please never stop. Keep on drawing, keep on painting, keep on drawing. And I would really, really, really can't wait to see them when I get back in the classroom. So go ahead and build up that portfolio again. I love seeing your guys' art. So for today, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be needing a piece of paper, preferably white. Um, we're gonna be needing some paint or some food coloring. We're gonna need some water, dish soap, you know, the kitchen sink soap that you wash dishes with, and a straw, and that's it. So go ahead and grab your materials and your supplies. I'm gonna go ahead and flip my camera and we're gonna get started making our bubble art. All right, everybody, let's get started. All right, so what we're gonna to need to make the bubbles is you're going to need some kind of bowl, preferably something a little bit wider, not so much like a thin cup, because we want it to spread out. And then we need some kind of paint, food coloring will work if you don't have paint. I'm using acrylic paint. Um, some dish soap, so the soap that you wash dishes with, some water, and a straw, and of course some paper. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be making <clears throat> the bubble solution first. Now if you guys do actually have the actual bubble stick that you blow into, it's like a circle, the little lines and you blow into it, if that would work as well. So you guys can also pick that up. You're just gonna actually wiggle it in here, get the bubble solution on there, and then you're gonna blow it onto your paper instead of the way we're gonna do it. So what we're gonna do first, I will use red. Okay, you're gonna get some paint inside of your bowl. I'm gonna get some black and put it in the other one. Now again, you can pick whatever colors that you would like to use. All right, so once you get your paint in, you're gonna get your dish soap. And you don't need to put a lot, you just need to put a little bit in there just to make some bubbles. So if you can see, I didn't put that much, I didn't even cover the whole bottom, just a little bit. All right, and then what you're gonna do is you're going to mix it up. I have a Q-tip right here. I'm gonna mix those two together. Okay, I'm gonna mix the other side. I'm trying to get my fingers all dirty. All right, all right, so now I'm gonna take my water and I'm gonna pour it right on top now you don't need to fill the whole entire bowl. Just start with a little bit and always add. Okay, and my water. All right, now with my straw, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna mix it up just a little bit more. Okay. I'm gonna start with the red first. Okay, now before I've been blowing it, you can already see the little bubble starting. All right, so this kind of technique comes from, I know when I was a kid, I would drink my milk and I would use my straw and I would blow bubbles. My mom didn't like it so much, but we're gonna do the same kind of thing. I don't know if any of you guys used to do that, but what you're gonna do is leave your straw in here and the part with your mouth, you're gonna blow. You are not going to drink it or suck it up the straw at all. We are using toxic pink and I do not want you guys to drink any of this. We're only supposed to be blowing and making bubbles. So I'm going to blow inside. And you want the bubbles to go above 
the rim, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is take my piece of paper and then scrape the bubbles right on top and then let them pop right on top of my paper. Okay, so I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna put my straw on, shake it up a little bit and blow. All right, take my straw out, <clears throat> scrape the bubbles up. When they pop, you can blow on them. Now you have bubbles on your paper, okay? Now, earlier I did mix up another color. I did mix my blue and my red. Okay, remember two primary colors make a secondary color, which we made purple, and I got purple. So I mixed this up, same thing. And now if you don't have enough bubbles, add a little bit more dish soap, okay? So I'm gonna blow this one. Here's my purple. You can add it to the same color over here. And you have purple on there as well, okay? Now let's try adding some black. The only reason why I added black to this lesson was just so you guys can see it a little bit better. I wasn't sure how it was gonna show up on the camera, okay? So again, there's your bubbles. And what I'm going to do, my friends, I'm gonna blow again. All right. I'm gonna scoop those bubbles right on top of my paper, blow them, pop them a little bit. And now you have some more. Okay, is that fun? All right, so again, you can use as many colors as you'd like. Be really fun and pretty to actually cover this one with a bunch of different ones. Look at all that texture and all that different small bubbles to large bubbles. The colors mix really well, okay? I probably could have used like a green or a blue as well to kind of add a little bit more color, but have fun with this. Play around. Remember, please make sure you have something on the bottom of your table so we don't stain it if we're using food coloring or paint. We don't want to make that big of a mess. If you have an apron, I would recommend using an apron and go ahead and make some paper, make some designs, and if you save them, bring them to the next school year when we are back in the classroom together, and I would love to see what you guys did. Thanks for joining me at the locker. See you guys soon. Bye.